Hey everybody, I'm back with another super mega unboxing. Let's start this video off by um, letting you know how this all started. Now, anyone who's watched this channel, they may or may not know that I am into Lego. Um, me and my fiance are into Lego, but he's more into it than I am. I'm more for the minifigures. And I really did enjoy the Lego movie. <laughs> I mean, who didn't? I mean, everything is awesome. So, uh, yeah, so Lego 2 movie just came out uh, last Friday, I think officially. And my nephew uh, helped pick out a Valentine's Day bag for me. And in that Valentine's Day bag was a minifigure um, from the series. And I wasn't even aware that they were out yet. And uh, here is the minifigure that uh, my nephew picked out to put in my bag, and I ended up with, uh, and I, I felt her up and, and thought, hey, this might be Lucy, and it was indeed Lucy. So this is Lucy, um, maybe in, during the apocalyptic times, because I guess that's what's going on in the uh, movie itself. But uh, here's her face, she's got an angry face, and she's got a, a happy face. Uh, the from what I've been told this piece right here is brand new for just this series so it's pretty cool it's like um, a hoodie gra uh, glassic hoodie glasses type piece so so I went out to Walmart to get this one some stuff and of course you know I don't know if anyone else has to just has to go to the toy aisle when they are at Walmart or wherever else big stores that you go to, I have to. I have to go right to the toy section. Doesn't matter what I'm there for. And here they were. They were is almost. It was almost a full box. I stayed there for about 45 minutes. Uh, sorry, enjoy the cat butt. Uh, I stayed there for about 45 minutes, peeling up these packages, and I ended up with 19 packages. Um, and I think I am pretty sure that right here is the entire collection of the minifigures. Now there's 20 to collect. I have one right here. So if we get a Lucy, then we don't have the full collection. So, but I'm hoping that we did. I'm hoping that my my feel skills have gotten better throughout the years and we will be able to um, have ourselves a collection today. So let's just go ahead and start off. This is the first bag and let's, let's see if I can tell you who it is off the bat. I think this is the crayon guy. Um, we haven't seen a checklist yet. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll show you the checklist after I open this up. I'm pretty sure this is the crayon guy. Let me get some scissors. And we got an open here. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm right on the first one. Let me just get all the pieces out here. And I'll build them. And to let you know, uh, just because... Some of these actually have extra bags within the bags to keep them protected inside. Um, and the stands are white. So before I put her top on, I just wanted to show you, uh, it's not a him, it's a her. And uh, the accessory that uh, she comes with is a two by two white tile uh, with a painted on minifigure head that looks like she drew it with crayon. And she has a, I think she's double faced. So she kind of has almost like a smiley laugh face on one side. And then she has like a, I don't know, like a crooked smile face, like a goofy smile face on the other side. And then this top part, and then she's um, pink, uh, no pink. She's like a lavender color. And then she has a dark lavender uh, dual molded legs. Looks like she has shoes and gloves on. And then, obviously, this crayon piece, well, it's not obvious, but this crayon piece fits on the top of her like this, and that's new, so. Pretty cool figure, I think. And the next one that I think we have is probably, let's see, who do I think this is? Hmm. This is probably one of the K-pop girls. Um, I, it's probably this girl right here on the front here. This one with the guitar, maybe. I don't know. And I forgot, before I open the next one, I'm actually going to show you guys the checklist here. So, we got Lucy right here, which is number two. And then we have number five, the crayon girl. 
And I actually think the next one that we're going to open up is, um, it could be the lion, but I actually think it's her. So here we go, opening this one. Mono, uh, tail. Okay, I was... was I right? Well, I was... I think I was right. I said, yeah, I said it was the one on the front. Yeah, it's definitely the girl on the front of the box. This girl right here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get her built. She's also in a bag. I don't know if they're all in bags this time. So, so far, our first two were in bags. Okay, so she's a really cool figure. I thought before I put her hair on, I will show you the two the two uh, faces that she has. She has um, a double-sided face as well. And her first face, uh, she it looks like she's laughing. Maybe she's singing. I think she might be singing. What You can see her teeth, and you can see uh, the kitty cat's um, whiskers on her. And then here she's um, got more of a cunning smile, I suppose, with an open mouth. Uh, she's really colorful and cool. Uh, from what I also hear, this is a brand new guitar design, so that's pretty cool. She also does come with an extra, uh, um, microphone, so that's a cool extra piece to have. Let me just put her, her, um, hair on here. So here she is with her hair on and everything. She's a cool character to have. So we'll add her over here to our other ones. I gotta put them far away or Blaze is gonna make them go flying. Okay. Our next one we're gonna open up here, I think, is going to be... Uh, I'm just gonna put this over here. Let's see. This one might be Rex, but I can't find the dinosaur in there. So we're gonna check to see who this one might be. I really am guessing, guys. I really have no idea. Uh, oh, I think I'm right. Oh, uh, yep, I'm right. This is Rex. And Rex comes with a little dinosaur, so I was actually pretty excited about him, having him. Uh, yeah, so he, he, and he did not have, if you notice when I dumped it out, he does not have any pieces in the clear plastic bag, so that's interesting. I'm not sure, like, what the rhyme to reason is with those. But let's get him built. So Rex has a lot going on with his costume and everything. He looks like he's wearing chaps. Um, and he's got a big R on his pocket for Rex. And he's got this, um, check out that, that face with his little stubby beard and that goes on his little beard stub and then he's got that other face in the back where he's got this goofy smile uh and look at his little baby i don't i haven't seen the movie yet so i don't know if this baby has a name but look at this little baby t-rex guess that would make sense it's that dark blue with a light blue paint detailing on him and he's got those cool great eyes he's all worth it so then then you also have this hair piece that has the hair hat combo, which I am going to assume that that is exclusive to this figure. I haven't seen it before. There he is. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool figure, I think. And the next figure I think we're opening is... Actually, I think this might be the crazy Catwoman. But no... I'm actually not sure. I think it's coming with an animal. I think it's the cat lady, but... Oh. It's Emmett! <laughs> I, Emmett was my first thought actually before and then I second guessed myself so I'm gonna stop second guessing myself and Emmett did not, you saw it, he fell out, he didn't have a um, thing to him. So here is Emmett and Emmett is pretty much almost the same as the character was 
in the first series. He's wearing this jewel molded um, head uh, hair that no he would normally have, but it has a headset on it. And he's also this so there's supposed to be um, headphones like wireless headphones for his MP3 player. And his MP3, MP3 player says awesome for you know obviously everything is awesome. And he's got a plain white uh, coffee cup. So um, he's pretty cool. He also has uh, the dual face like the other ones that we've opened. Uh, let's see if I can spin his hair around so I can show you that. Here's his other face. So I think he's pretty cool. And the next one I think we have, since I failed on that last one, even though it was a new one. My guess on this one is that he's either... I think he's the Ten Man. I don't know again. Well, we're going to just open it up and find out. Okay, let's see here. Uh, it's a scarecrow. No, it's, um, it's, it's a, a, a missing head. And it's the mayor, actually. He's really no longer the villain. At least he wasn't. He's actually looking very happy in this in this uh, version of him. He looks like he went golfing. He's in a, wearing a golfer's. He's wearing a golfer's outfit. Some pretty awesome design, and uh, got the dual molded legs, which they all seem to have in this series, which is pretty awesome. He's also got dual molded arms, and I think dual molded hair. It's pretty awesome. He also has an alternate an alternate face. Let's see if I can get that go around right there. So he goes from being happy to being really happy. Check out that unibrow, guys. So the next one I think we have is I think this next one that we have is Benny. So uh, we're going to open him up and see what we have. I do wish that I had a tripod. Maybe when I get paid this week I might get one. Surprise everybody. I was right. It's Benny. I've been pretty good about this so far, I think. Um, what, 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 what did I got? Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I got th three. I got four out of six. So, right? So four out of six so far. I've been able to guess right, um, and they've all been new ones, which is good. So uh, Benny's face here, he's super happy with his tongue showing, big smile, and here he's not so happy. He looks a little sad or annoyed. So here is Benny all built. I gave him his smiley face, uh, opposed to the sad one. He's got this real red toolbox. Uh, he's still got the... Um, the worn out look going on on his chest and he also has the pretend break on his helmet which you know shows you that he's an older figure that's also missing his visor curious enough he has some sort of robotic arm going on i don't know what happens to benny uh i haven't seen the lego movie 2 yet it just came out so um yeah i'm pretty excited to see it to find out why benny has a robotic arm <laughs> either way cool figure i think cool version of benny uh, this version of Benny also comes with an extra robotic hand, which is a little wrench piece that you can use for a lot of different things, so um, it's good to have. Moving on to my next guess. I'm actually going to guess that this one is Unikitty, which I didn't really want too much, but Unikitty is part of the Lego movie world, and even though we have tons of her from the last uh, minifigure series. I actually only ended up with two because I got a double and then I stopped because it annoyed me. Anyhow, if it is her, uh, she's part of this collection and I'll be happy to welcome her in. Guess what guys? <laughs> it's her. I'm not going to dump it right now. I'm going to actually just build it because Blaze is waiting to stick her face in there and she's going to lose my parts. 
But yeah, it's Unikitty. I'm going to get her built and I'll show you her when I'm done. Side note, there is a couple of builds on the back of the checklist. Um, one is to show how to build Unikitty and one is to show how to build this Hawaiian girl and then one's to show how to build Dorothy because those do come with those oh so lovely fabric skirts. And here is Unikitty, um, all pastelled out. Um, the face I, it might be exclusive to this Unikitty, I'm not entirely sure. She's cute enough. Um, and it does come with all these extra parts, which are cool to have. Um, so yeah, uh, she's mostly pink, and then you can see some pastel green. And But the only thing about her that bothers me is that her head is really fragile when it comes to movement. You can move it back and forth, but it's going to fall off if you're not gentle. <laughs> it's not very stable. But it's okay. Uh, she's cute, and I'm glad to add her. And the next one I think we're opening, this is a heavier one. I actually think this is the watermelon guy. I'm pretty sure. I, I can almost... 100, almost... We're going to say I'm 98% sure that this is the watermelon guy. Let's look inside here. Let's see. Yeah, watermelon guy. As I lose pieces all over the floor, I'll be right back. First off, how cool is that guy's face? He's got these cool sunglasses on. He's got the, um, the crazy lifting eyebrows. Let's see if I can get this to focus. He's got those crazy lifting eyebrows and that grin. And then here's his other face. I'm going to go with the sunglasses face because he's so cool. And then that's what his outfit looks like underneath the watermelon I'm about to put on. And also, to let you guys know, this watermelon piece right here um, that he's holding is exclusive to this set uh, as of now. And there is an extra piece that comes with it. So that's pretty cool to have two of them. It does have a stud on the bottom of it, so it can you can put it on like some kind of plate or you know, maybe collect a few of them and make a watermelon half or something or a watermelon hole that's sliced. I don't know. It'll be fun to see what people do with that piece. But let's uh, go ahead and put uh, his top on, which doesn't you would think might fit this way, but it doesn't. It fits this way. And here he is, guys. Watermelon Slice Guy. Um, I don't know what his actual official name is because I am not very smart and didn't actually do the research to tell you the, the exact name of him, but I'm pretty sure he's Watermelon Guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's pretty awesome. I, I love the costume characters a lot, and um, there's a couple in here. Well, we've already looked at... Um, We've already looked at the crayon one, so that's pretty cool. And I like how they went random with it, but I'm sure the movie is random like the other one was. And the next one that I think we're going to open up... I think we're going to be opening up Dorothy. I am so excited for these Wizard of Oz ones, guys, because I'm a Wizard of Oz fan as well. Yep, it looks like it's Dorothy, So, um, and she's also in a bag. So I'm going to take her out, um, and then we can take a look at Toto as well. I'm pretty excited. So here she is all built. That's a pretty decent looking Toto, I think. And also this hair piece is exclusive to, um, this is made exclusively for Dorothy. She has that annoying fabric skirt that I hate putting together. <laughs> but I guess overall it looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of an, un, um, an unmatched, but they tried and it looked pretty good with um, her signature blue dress. And she's also wearing her ruby slippers. Uh, you can't tell with the dress on, but they are dual molded legs. Uh, she has um, blue socks on. Uh, and then there's the back half of her. Uh, my lighting is terrible. There we go. There is Dorothy. So let's go on to our next figure. This guessing game is fun. Alright. I'm doing pretty good. This one, I think, is going to be... I think this is going to be Abe, our new Abe Lincoln, the Apocalyptic Abe. Apocalyptic? I don't really know exactly what he's actually called, but I'm pretty sure that's this is him. Uh, this is going to be either be him or this is going to be Lion. Hmm. Well, let's let's open him up and see. So I was super wrong. 
this is actually the crazy cat lady in the apocalyptic 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 the end of days um, scenario she's got a couple of armbands going on there a couple of wristbands some spikes She's got that crazy tiger band, and she's got some metallic going on, and uh, the rest of it's probably supposed to be leather. She's got dual dual legs, dual molded legs. Um, she's got her glasses going on. She only has one face, but I'm okay with that. And check out the cat that she comes with. I mean, I know she has a million cats. I'm assuming he's definitely a scrapper. He's a punk rock. He's got a mohawk, and he's got like a band-aid mark on his cheek, and one on one band-aid on the other side. See if I can get that too. And he's a tabby cat. Orange tabby cat. See guys? How cool is he? How cool? I think he's really cute with his little spiked red collar. So yep, we got her to add to our collection now. The next one that I think we might have is... This one's Abe Lincoln. I'm pretty sure this is Abe Lincoln. I'm excited for him. I don't know why. I just am. Let's see. Let's see, Blaze. Blaze, do we have Abe Lincoln? We got Abe Lincoln, guys. I'm going to go ahead and build him. I'm not going to dump him out on the table because Blaze is sitting right here. She's going to go right after the parts. And before I complete him, he does have a dual-sided face. Um, this face is kind of like a like a fighting angry face. And then this face is a um, maybe a scared face. So two extremes. I'm going to go with his angry face. He also comes with a, an extra stick for his, um, for his axe or... Um, battle axe or whatever you want to call it his um, beard and hat are dual molded and he has goggles on top of his head there's there's a lot to me there's a lot of steampunk um, going on with these figures which I really adore um, so yeah check out his really cool outfit he's wearing pretty awesome and I'll show you the back he does he have dual molded legs? No, he does not have dual molded legs. And the next one that I think we're going to have here is going to be... Uh, I think this is going to be the lion. Guess what, guys? It's the lion! And here is the cowardly lion. All built up here for you. He does have two... Uh, he actually looks really nice. I, I love him. And he comes with um, a clear uh, one by two tile that has a print on on it um, for his, you know, in the movie when he got the award of courage by the wizard. Uh, I believe this is a new top mold that goes over the head. And uh, let me just show you his alternate face. So his alternate face looks like he's um, actually losing his courage right there. If I can get that to focus. So. Yeah, he's looking kind of sad. I'm going to go with the other one for his display, though. This next one's kind of heavy, and I'm not sure who it is. I hope it's not a double of the lion. I'm actually getting kind of nervous, but I'm going to open it up anyway, and we're going to see. Okay, it's not, uh, and not an extra of the lion. It is um, this guy right here. Now, I don't know what this guy's name is. He's like the lagoon, like a lagoon guy or something like that. I also noticed that he was like a, he was featured in like a, um, a, uh, on the box when I was picking these out. He was fi pictured in a square, um, a white square. So I don't know if he's more rare, if he's like a rare figure in each box. Because I know when they did the, um, when they did the, minifigure, was it 10th anniversary mega minifigures? Uh, when they did the anniversary minifigures, um, there was a police officer that was done old school, like retro, and he was only like one per box, so I don't know if, it, if there's something like this for that. If you guys know anything about um, the rarity of this one, uh, please comment below, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build him. Before I put his top part on, I wanted to show you how creepy his face was. <laughs> He's got, um, and he's got a crazy, like, um, chest tattoo, and he's wearing, like, overall, no, that he's wearing, like, uh, looks like shell, uh, I don't know, like, definitely apocalyptic out outfit, and then there's a lot of, uh, scaling that goes on in the back, and in the back of his head, just for no reason at all, if I can get this to focus, he has scaling, 
uh, paint detail for scales in the back of his head, which are going to get covered up anyway, so it's unnecessary, but uh, he's creepy. Now we go ahead and I'm just going to put his head on, and I think he looks a little bit better there. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get him finished. So he's got his little rubber whip for an accessory. Um, the, uh, the headpiece is weird. Like, it, it, I feel like it doesn't quite blend well. Uh, it matches his feet, which are dual molded. But, uh, I don't know, he's a weird character. But I guess, you know, all of them are weird in their own way. But, uh, there he is. And then the next character that we have, I'm going to guess, is... It's somebody new. Maybe it's the giraffe one? I'm hoping it's the giraffe one. I'm, not gonna, I'm waiting for that giraffe. I just chopped off the top. Let's look inside. It's the giraffe one! Okay, so it gives us an extra green piece in here. We have two of these green pieces. Uh, we do have a dual mold of the face. Let's see if I can get that to show up. So there's one with so let's see if I can get that to There's one with teeth. And there's one with a side smile. I'm gonna go with the side smile. And then here is the giraffe headpiece. Uh it's pretty nice. Somebody was saying there was rumors going around saying that this was like a Jeffrey uh Jeffrey the Giraffe type tribute thing. I mean, I guess, I mean, there's a possibility it might be. I mean, Toys R Us and uh, Lego have had a huge ongoing relationship. A lot of the exclusives were only carried there. But, um, let's see here. I'm just going to turn it off for a second here. So there he is. Giraffe guy. <laughs> Pretty awesome. He's one of the coolest ones, I think. We're going to add him over here to our collection. It's growing over here, guys. It's growing. Um, and our next one, I think we have. Is... Hmm. We're still missing the scarecrow, right? Who are we missing still? We're missing. We have everyone on the top row. We are missing this pop girl. We're missing way back Lucy. We're missing the ballerina, the other one there. Um, and we're still missing the scarecrow, so we're missing four. So, I think this one. This one is gonna be uh, this girl right here with the cassette tape, I think. And it's the girl with the cassette tape. So here she is, one of the K pop girls. Uh, she is pretty over the top and awesome. Look at all this printing. Ah, uh, sorry, I can get this to focus here. Look at all the printing on this. Well, she's got a cassette tape. It says Side A on it. Uh, she has a, a pink, a dark pink microphone, which she also has an extra of. If I can get a close-up on her face here. She gets some nice rosy cheeks. Um, her hair is also, um... That pink color and then it has the light pink streaks streaks in it she's got a star over on that side of her hair uh, she's got some stars on her torso and some stripes and then she has more stars and stripes all over the top that's printed on the top of the skirt because the skirt itself um, is actually pink but you can't even tell from what that color from the top she has dual molded legs uh, making it look like she's got pink shoes on so she is actually really cool and that's a, a little winking face um she has um she has dual faces let me just put her cassette tape down there show you that close-up of that cassette tape it's really nice and uh here is her other face so that's a cute face too it's almost a cunning smile but yeah so there's her one that I think we have is going to be I think this is going to be way back Lucy and it is indeed way back Lucy here is what I've heard referred to as uh, way back Lucy and she is just so cool she has um, the uh, light 
like like the pastel blue mixed with a dark almost a I don't know like a burgundy a light burgundy color uh, stripes in her hair she has um, this this version of her has the well this side of her face is a singing version and you can see her, you can see her um, her teeth and her tongue and she's really belting it out with um, her dark pink microphone and she has like metallic silver bubbles all over her outfit she also seems to be holding a gold record a golden record for everything is awesome <laughs> was she part of the singing group of everything is awesome I don't know she started off the movie hating that uh, in the first one so I don't know but we also do know that Lucy changed her identity millions of times so and there's her other face so she has this cute face so it's kind of cool it's almost like you got this action feature without her actually doing anything so uh, that's a pretty cool version of Lucy I think I'm afraid of this one. I think this one might be... This is not a double. I'm feeling the head and I don't know what it is. I am hoping that this is the, um, Scarecrow. Okay, guys, so we didn't get the full collection. Um, I messed up somewhere. I got another version of Lucy. However, in my defense, Lucy was not with me when I had her. First off. Second off, uh... It wouldn't be a double for this video because Lucy was given to me, uh, Apocalyptic Lucy was given to me for a Valentine's Day present, so I already had her. So I guess we have a double of her, which I guess is alright. But that means that we did not complete our complexion, collection today, but the, I guess the mystery seems to be found is who are we missing? So let's see. I did pretty good so far, I hope I... I'm gonna guess is this is a scarecrow okay I was wrong I did not have the scarecrow I have a new character though I have uh, the ten man so I'm pretty excited to build him so here he is all built he's very metallic -y. Um, very shiny like he should be there is a lot of detail work on him he has his little bow tie on the top here his cool like funnel type hat that's his own piece He's got his little, ah, uh, let's see if this is going to show up on camera here. I think that's probably his focus is I'm going to get on it. He's got his little, like, uh, heart that looks like a clock that keeps ticking, his little ticker. <laughs> and then he's got his classic uh, axe here so he can chop up some wood. Uh, so yeah, he is pretty awesome, guys. Pretty excited to get him. I hope we get the scarecrow. I need to complete this. The I really want to complete this, the Wizard of Oz section of this. It's pretty cool. It's, it's all little like mini collection within the collection. So um, let's see. So my guess is that this this one right here is the scarecrow. Hey guys. It is not the scarecrow, but it's the new character. It's the other K-pop girl. I did forget to mention before I open her up that uh, the Tin Man comes with two extra bow ties. I don't, I don't know why it comes with two, but it comes with two extra bow ties and then it comes with an extra heart. And here she is built. I, I don't really know her name yet. Um, like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet. But uh, she's another one of the K-pop ones. So, yeah. Uh, her skirt was a pain in the butt, just like all the other ones. And she's got more, kind of like a Hawaiian style going on. A lot of greens in there. A lot of greens and then a little bit of pink dabbed in there for some look. So... I'll go ahead and get them all together for you. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't, that I um, missed one, but I can't really be too upset considering they're blind bags and I did them all by feel. So I, I got, I got all of them but one, and technically I didn't get any doubles. Uh, so overall, I think we did pretty darn good. We got three of the four Wizard of Oz figures. We have all of our original characters that are all brought back in this apocalyptic day. And then we have the K-pop girls. I don't know if this is a band that um, Lucy used to be in. We'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Giraffe guy. Watermelon guy. We got Rex over here. I don't even know who Rex is, but I just know that's his name. Uh, we got Crayon girl. And I don't, I don't know why Lucy's way at the end here. I just put her there. 
that's our old Lucy, but our new Lucy we didn't build. And then we got this Lagoon guy. What's going on here? Um, so, I don't know. Which one was you guys' favorite? I can't even pick. I don't even know where to pick. Um, I want to pick all the little sub-series over here of the Wizard of Oz, because I'm such a Wizard of Oz fan. But if I put those aside, Abe Lincoln, <laughs> he's great. He's great in it. And look at the cat lady. There's so many great figures in here. Uh, Blaze, you're being very good. But I think she's gonna end up knocking some over in a second here, guys. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.